I broke my Bauer Hyperlite, a $350 composite stick. Broke it in the shaft. So what am I supposed to do? $350, a lot of money. So I thought I'd try the Bison DIY stick repair system. First off, I have to figure out which one, which bison I need because you need to measure the inside diameter of your stick. So first I had to cut off the broken parts of the stick. I used a miter uh, cross cutting saw to get nice square cuts and nice even cuts. You can tr use a hacksaw if you want but uh, if you can I would cut it with some kind of cross cutting saw or miter saw to have really nice cuts and nice and square so when you join them it is perfect so first of all you have to measure and I used the calipers to measure the inside dimensions of the shaft the stick as you can see it's like 27 mil by 16 those are the closest numbers so the inside dimension is 16 by 27 so I ordered a bison kit 16 mil by 26 and a half 26 and a half uh, seems to be the largest they have uh, would have been nice if uh, they had a 16 by 27 but they don't so it comes with it looks like the composite repair shaft and a butt end because you'll probably be cutting off about an inch one inch to two inches of uh, of shaft to uh, make the repair would have been nice if it came with a composite butt end eh? <laughs> but I guess for 32 Canadian uh, $15 in shipping from the US so it's about $50 to get this kit uh, $50 Canadian to get this kit up uh, shipped to Canada So it comes with the instructions, as I said, the butt end, the composite shaft, marked A and B, and a couple of stir sticks. I think this is to, to your mixing little pads they give you to mix the epoxy. Two separate epoxy pads, one for the A side and one for the B side. Um, both separated uh, because you're going to have to mix the two sides together and then uh, use the glue. And a sand uh, sandpaper to roughen up the your composite uh, insert. Okay, you can take your composite insert and uh, insert A into the bottom of your shaft, the blade side, and it should start feeling resistance one to two inches. And if it's uh, you don't feel any resistance. Uh, it's too small and they say to uh, email them uh, and uh, get the next size up or get the proper size so and it's tapered the insert is tapered so it'll slide in nice and easy and then it gets th uh, thicker as it goes uh, up to B so it should 
just sit there and be feel tight but nice and loose at the bottom and then slowly feel tight okay make sure the inside of your shaft is clean and uh, free of plastic uh, wrap or foam that sometimes gets inserted into uh, the shafts lightly scuff the composite insert to have the epoxy bond better with the composite insert and the instructions also say to uh, use masking tape or some type of tape to tape halfway around the insert and at the end of the, your stick shaft so uh, when the epoxy glue uh, when you apply the epoxy glue some will you know spread out escape from the insert so that you can uh, clean it up easier so once it before it gets harder the epoxy glue hardens you can unwrap the tape so next thing we're going to do is uh, mix we're going to cut open the two sides and mix it in the mixing pad they provide well here's some info on the epoxy glue um, says very high peel strength flexible tough durable it looks like it's made by hard man Some place uh, who manufactures got a phone number there, 574-246-5000. I guess you could order uh, some glue if you want, uh, extra glue. It's made uh, Royal Adhesive and Sealants LLC, Willing Wilmington, California. So we're going to cut the glue open. Squeeze all you can out of it because it doesn't seem like there's that, there's that much glue. Wish there was more. It's a little pathetic actually looking. So, so you got it. Now you got to mix it all up. Thoroughly. Try not to get any on your skin. I'm sure it's not good for you. You can wear gloves if you want. It says uh, it takes 24 hours to fully cure, so it says to do the bottom half, uh, first half, and wait 24 hours before you do the second half. So it says to spread using the same mixing stick all over, all over part A. Okay, so once you've uh, spread all the stuff uh, onto the shaft, about three inches up, total sh shaft insert is uh, six inches. So go about halfway, three inches, and insert it into your stick shaft. It's obviously uh, Things are going to squeeze out of there. Okay, there you go. It's inserted. As you can see, uh, there's epoxy that's half squeezed out. And it says to unravel the tape before it hardens. And you can uh, let it uh, cure for 24 hours before you can uh, uh, do the second half of the project. And 
I'm going to let it cure this way up. So anything, any of the extra epoxy will go down the shaft, hopefully, and take up any uh, extra space that's not taken care of. Oh, and before it uh, starts curing, make sure your shaft insert is straight up and down the shaft and and parallel to the sh uh, your shaft walls so it's not you know crooked here's uh, with the tape off so pretty nice and clean you don't have any messy things to deal with after it's cured now we're going to store it this way Hey, there you go. I'm going to let it sit for uh, 24 hours like that and then come back to, and do the second part of uh, the stick repair and uh, fix the stick. Hopefully it works good. We'll give you a review of it later on uh, when it's fully cured both sides. Stay tuned. Okay, it's been 24 hours. The first uh, epoxy glue on the bottom end the A side has uh, dried. I was curious about the dimensions uh, of their uh, carbon fiber insert, their composite insert. I ordered a 60 millimeter by 26 and a half millimeter. So let's see if how accurate they are. If you can see this, it reads 16.2. 22 millimeters, so a little bit more, and then lengthwise it reads 26.36 millimeters, so a little bit less than the 26.5 millimeter I ordered. So it's close, the dimensions are close, but not completely accurate. Um, so, my next step is to attach, let's see what we got here, next part is to attach the second half of my stick. Okay, again I'm going to use my second pack of uh, epoxy glue, and I've also taped the shaft of the stick on both sides so it's easy to get rid of the excess glue that squirts out so I'm gonna get all the glue out onto the mixing pad base they provide squeeze it out as much as I can of all of it take it and spread it all over the composite insert. Okay, take your upper end of your shaft, make sure you got the front, your upper shaft and your low shaft uh, properly aligned, facing the correct way. So, the back end to the back end and the front end to the front end. As you can see, a lot of excesses, excessive glue is leaking out because it's a tight fit. And if it's too tight of a fit, you can, uh, they say you can uh, shave about half a millimeter of uh, material off to make it fit. So there you go. The two ends are combined. Get to the, get 
take all the excess of glue off. If you have something to glue right now, be a good time to glue something with the, your extra glue. Okay, take the tape off, get all the excess of glue off. There you go. Use your straight edge. I'm using a square, make sure it is perfectly aligned. Which it is. Okay, I had to do a little nudging of the stick to make it perfectly straight. And if you got excess of glue that you want to wipe off, uh, get some acetone uh, from your wife's nail polish uh, uh, kit, and or and just wipe off the excess with it. Okay, now it's all cleaned up. It's perfectly straight on it. The second half is combined onto the first half of the stick. So it's time to just let it sit for 24 hours for the epoxy glue to fully cure. And uh, then I hopefully the stick is uh, perfectly uh, fixed. Okay, here's the repair. Fully cured now, and here's the joint. Looks pretty good. I mean, you can feel a little bit of a rough edge. You can feel the joint, but it's pretty nice. I've lost only about an inch from the repair site. It's only an inch loss of material. And it seems to flex pretty good. No creaking, no nothing. Feels good. Sounds good. I think this is a so far a successful repair of the Hyperlite stick. And we'll, we'll test it on the ice and report back. Hopefully it's a long and lasting repair and uh, the flex hasn't changed much and the weight feels uh, about the same. Very uh, little weight difference. So let's give it a thumbs up so far.